Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Bally Springs. Right, I've got quite a bit to explain before we can get to going in this episode, guys. Because I've recorded this episode today about four times and my computer OBS is just crapping its pants. Uh, yeah, I am swearing there because it is just crapping its pants. As you can see, we're now at the back end of April. Um, today, I did every single fertilizing contract there was possible. And we maxed out the loan to the 20% limit we have already um so we took out another 25 grand on the loan this meant we could buy the spinnery like i said i'm not going to redo the exact same episode i've recorded three times previously so i'm just going to try and move on with this um so as you can see we've put our wool into the spinnery just to give you an idea there is the loan back up to 60,000. we sold the eggs the honey and the french fries up to now to give us five thousand pound because in the next episode we need to pay a loan payment so we do have enough money in the bank to pay a loan payment. Uh, we moved potatoes over here. I do just want to do something though that I said I was going to do and I haven't quite done it yet. Potatoes are going to be distributed directly to here because we get a lot of potatoes. Um, and I don't want to be coming up here every day with one crate of potato, if that makes sense. Um, as you can see, we've got tomato sauce in there. I wasn't going to make tomato sauce, but I said in one of the previous bad recordings, I would make tomato sauce because we're not getting the lettuce as quick. So we might as well make a little bit of money from that. I think that's pretty much where I'm at. I must have done about 15, 15 fields for the uh, for the fertilising. Like I say, we, I, I've done loads, guys, and it's just corrupting every time and i'm not redoing april over and over and over again today so i'm just going to move off into may in a minute as you can also see our cows have now hit um they've now hit all adult age so i just want to show you that um also i've decided we're not going to be feeding them hay either at 60 percent output um once that tmr has gone we're just going to feed them base food which is a silage pure pure silage um I'm not really sure if there was anything else. I've sold the eggs. I sold the honey to make some money in the bank. We made £4,000 in the last episode from selling the milk. We're going to make some more money in a minute selling again. So we're going to make... We're going to go and uh, sleep. It will automatically sell. I'm leaving it on automatically sell because I feel like that's a more realistic thing. I know it means we're not selling it. There you go. We've got another 3900 So we are making money now from milk every every episode that is fantastic i'm just going to drop that speed down a little bit just while we check the animals um twelve thousand in the horse poop horse poop in the cow poop um that's looking really well yep the total mix ration has gone down so that's fantastic we're gonna have to put some more straw in um a little bit stuck on that at the moment yeah, like I say, I've recorded April about three times, guys. Three, four times, and I'm, di I'm just sick of doing it. Um, if it wants to corrupt... Yeah, I, I, NVIDIA pushed out an update. They pushed out, and it, unfortunately for me, it was an automatic update, and it's just ruined everything. Um, got, wow, we've got 500 litres of that already. That's fantastic. I'm just checking the animals and the feed before we... Uh, we do too much today because we do we do need to just uh keep an eye on everything we don't want to run out of food we've got some more eggs um six thousand liters of food that's fantastic 400 liters of wow we've got a slow production of a lot of things coming in now it's lovely now we're not going to be selling automatically selling the milk constantly um we are going to try and bring in an ice cream production um where we're going to need milk but what we'll do is we'll at like the end of each episode we'll fill our little tanker and we'll go from there um what we need to do today then guys could be a little bit i'm not really sure what yeah i had a feeling was it it's going to be all grass contracts oh there is one fertilizing but i'm not doing that i did a, i did fertilizing I've, I've had enough of fertilizing today so that means we have got a lot of grass cutting to do today and we need to make it all silage all silage i've also got to keep an eye on my obs in the corner of my eye in case it corrupts again 
Like I said, I don't know. I can only put it down to the stupid update they've done. <sighs> Fancy me parking my car here. To be fair, I parked my car there thinking I'd already recorded. I've now been recording today's episode for about two and a half to three hours. It normally takes me about 30 minutes. Especially when I weren't doing time lapses. Because I wasn't doing time lapses. I'm, I just can't believe that it's it keeps happening today. Um, trying to decide where to go best first. Um... Right, let's pull that up to five, because we've got quite a bit of work to do in May. We need to get this cow pen up here, um, ploughed. We were meant to do it over winter. Completely forgot about it. Completely forgot about it. Didn't do it. Just just going to say that. Uh, didn't do it. As you can see, it, it gives us meadow grass. This meadow grass is worth next to nothing. But at the end of the day, it's still worth a couple of bales. And a couple of bales, I suppose a couple of bales is still worth something, isn't it? It's not worth a lot, but it's worth something. There we go. So if we can get these fields cut today in this episode, that would be a, a nice little spot to be in. Um, well, that's going to make one big pile of grass. There we go. I knew it was going to do that. I, I keep forgetting to change that in the uh, in my custom mesh. As you can see, we've got loads and loads to get be getting on with today. I don't want to time lapse it, guys, in case the video goes corrupted and I miss even more time. It's bad enough we missed April. <clears throat> I was that pissed off? I was raging. I've kind of lost half my voice. But yeah, I'm just absolutely fuming at it. I, I want it to be on Apex by now. Do you know what I mean? You get to 11 o'clock, and I like to be on Apex by now, just playing some games. You know, the wife's... The wife's having a day... You know, the wife's poorly at the moment, but she's having a day out with my little man today. And that means I get to play Apex, because my kids are all on holiday. As soon as she comes home, she, uh, she'll want to watch some telly together and stuff. And Yeah. By the time she gets back, I'm gonna have, I ain't gonna have any time to play Apex, and it's the new season. But well, that's enough of Apex. That's a completely different game. But yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna mow a couple of fields. Um, I don't know. I suppose we could time lapse it. I suppose, and if it corrupts, though, guys, it corrupts, and I'm I'll be done with it for today. I'll I'll be having my first dayless missing episode because I'm I, I don't know what else I can do <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry I'm my, my throat's absolutely killing me like I say I was raging early especially after the third time it corrupted up it was like no I was just raging I haven't got my computer in, in the spec that I've got for it just to constantly crap out but NVIDIA what a shock NVIDIA pushing up there that is clearly not ready I don't know what update it was, but all it's done is screwed me over. That's all it's done is screwed me over. Right, there we go. So that's going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to put this in a time lapse, guys, because it's going to be relatively slow. Um, we've got four fields to cut, but I'm probably only going to get two of them cut in the time lapse, just because I don't want to... I don't want to do too much. I need to get this field ready. I want to bring meat cows back in. I don't. I don't know what you call. What do you call, like a meat cow? You know, like you, you've got like your dairy cows. What's the What's the terminology for uh, the meat cows? I call them meat cows. I can't. You know, I could Google it, but I'm since I'm uh, since I'm recording this, I might as well. Uh, I might as well ask. But yeah, I'm gonna put this onto a time lapse in a minute, guys. We're gonna. Uh, we're going to get this field done, and I'm probably going to go and do the sheep field, actually. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Um, I'll, I'll decide when I'm driving about which field I'm going to go and cut. Like I say, I've got I've got to get them cut. I would love to get the front mower on this, but this tractor just doesn't quite have enough power to do 
front and back mower at the you know the front and side mower at the same time and go up these very steep hills as i say for now we'll uh, we'll crack on with a bit of mowing Right, there we go, that is two of the fields done. Yeah, I weren't sure what fields I was going to do, uh, but I just, I was just driving when I had, had well, straight down the lane is where we went. Look at that canola in the bottom field though, guys. It's looking lovely and yellow. Absolutely lovely in that field. Obviously, we've got two fields of wheat here. I say they weren't meant to be both wheat, but <laughs> they are. What can I say? Reaper boo booed. As you can see, we have got loads left to uh, to mow. Just, I'm going to the uh, sheep one just to see if anything can spawn, to be honest. We do really need to get all this uh, mowed at the minute. Yeah, we've sent some more potatoes up to the uh, production, guys. Um, let's just have a look at the production. We're just keeping an eye on things at the minute. Whoa, we got two. Wow. Um, okay. Still, yeah, we've still got some more of that. We've got some more French fries. Look at this, guys. French fries. Um, oh, wrong one. And, yeah, we've got one thousand. Yeah, they've just been sent up of them. So, yeah, fantastic. So, we should have a second box of French fries very soon. And then we've got half a pallet of fabric as well nearly ready. Fantastic. Absolutely loving that. Yeah, we like I say, the fabric will earn us quite a bit of money. Um, the potatoes don't earn us a load. We make about a hundred pounds on top of a pallet for the potatoes, but it's nothing major. Um, you know, and plus by the time you think of the cost of buying the production, that's it's gonna be a long way before the potatoes make us a profit. I'm really happy, actually, with how that's turned out. Um, oh, can I just have a look at something? I don't know if I looked in here. Um, TV. Push down. Dog is uh, dreaming and snoring. I don't know if you heard that. Just had to just wake her up nicely. I don't like waking her up when she's dreaming like that, but you know when she's uh, whinging in her sleep, I don't, I, I, I don't know, I, I just don't like that. I sometimes feel like a, a big mean man's getting her. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe she's getting picked on by a cat because my Labrador is an absolute pussy. 
My Labrador is so soft that she's scared of wheelie bins. Literally, she's scared of a wheelie bin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So on bin day, when your trash cans are out and your wheelie bins are out, my dog is petrified of them. She always has been, ever since she was little. Ever since her first... I'll tell you what it is. On her very first walk, it was very, very windy. And bins were... After they'd been emptied, they were, they were blowing all over. They were banging about. They were falling over. She's been petrified of them ever since. Just just to look at them. Like bin day today, is, you know. I won't take her out for a walk while all the bins are out. You know, I'll, you know, I did it this morning before people put the bins out and then I'll do it tonight, after, you know, long after people have brought their, uh, the trash cans and the wheelie bins in. Um, just, just for our own things, you know what I mean? Because otherwise we have to cross the road which means we're constantly crossing the road because there's bins everywhere on a well, Wednesday for me. Um, as you can see, we are uh, just going to do a little bit of windrowing, guys. We haven't got loads left to do. We haven't got loads of time left. I, say, I am trying to keep the uh, episodes down on the time. Um, the old stream farm, though, guys. We need to discuss the old stream series. The old stream series, everybody says they love it. blah de blah, blah Now, I'm not going to obviously argue with anyone if you love it or not. But we are getting about a 40%. It's it's not liked by about 40% over the Harley Spring series. Um, so, as daft as it sounds, guys, I do love doing that series. But I'm also trying to, I'm trying to reach goals over on YouTube at the moment. And... 40% for each video that we do on Old Stream Farm as a reduction. 40% less watch time, 40% less um, likes, for example. Now, this is the stats I was looking at last night before, you know. And, yeah, if it was to continue with, like, a 40% reduction uh, in everything, I will come to an abrupt end. Like I say, as much as I love playing it and playing on that, it's not good for my hours, you know what I mean? Um, things like that. I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to do it to be like, yeah, I'm going to be a big YouTuber, you know, and I, I do appreciate everybody who does watch it. But as you guys know, I'm trying to do this as a as a, as a job. And 40%, if one series is 40% because people are not liking it, then, you know what I mean? You don't go to work to get paid 40% less two days a week. You know what I mean? And I, as much as I don't get paid for this, but I'm trying to give you a, a way of how I'm looking at it. You know what I mean? It, 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 it affects my my goals. You know, I get less viewership, which knocks my watch towers down, which I need to get for the YouTube partner program. Basically, it just means I get paid for the adverts and stuff. And it just keeps my streams ticking over. Like, if I want new... If I want a new monitor, for example, or I want a new mouse, for example, and like I do need a new mouse. You know what I mean? All the money I've ever made streaming and content creating, always every penny goes into the stream or the channel. You know, it could be new logos, it could be, you know, animations or when it was on Twitch it was emotes, you know what I mean? Every penny I've made through streaming and content creating I've always put back into upgrading everything, you know, the system. This is the reason why I've got a 4080. I haven't made enough money to pay for a 4080, but you guys helped me previously via Twitch bits and stuff on live streams. You know, you guys were the reasons I could get a 3080. Right, sorry, I was just opening a, a fizzy drink. I was just opening a can of soda pop there, and uh, I didn't want it to come through on the microphone, hence why I didn't talk for a split second. But yeah, that's kind of how it goes. You know, if anyone wants to support the channel, by all means, we have two ways of doing it. You can, you could do a, a monthly thing via Patreon. You don't have to pay monthly. Uh, you could just do it as a one-off. Um, we do have a tip link. Uh, we do take... Um, we have the Me6 bot. Uh, monetization so you can if you're in the discord you can set up that way and do a monthly thing or again do a one-off I'm not saying you have to I'm just letting people know that is an option it does help the channel continue to grow 
you know some some people do ask after things like that you know mr cooper he's been a patreon subscriber of mine since the minecraft days since the minecraft days that's when we were streaming on facebook now i love streaming on facebook um the problem with streaming on facebook is um music i always like to have a bit of music playing in the background and facebook don't like it at all if you don't use the facebook recommended music they don't like it but the problem is with the facebook recommended music is youtube don't like the facebook recommended music, and you can't win because I'm more than happy to like do restreaming. Like at the moment when I do stream on YouTube, I stream on YouTube in 1440. I could lower that quality down to 1080 and stream on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. That way I'm kind of putting myself out there to more people. The problem is I'm trying to I'm trying to create my YouTube channel, you know? I'm trying to grow that. We've had since Christmas. Or since I started doing YouTube series, um, the Somerset series, I think it was, we've grown 300 subscribers. Now, to a lot of people, they're like, well, I get 300 subscribers a day. Brilliant. I wish I was in that position. You know, we're not we're not that popular. Um, you know, to every person who comments on my videos, I've got people who comment daily. Guys, you guys are the reason why I still do this. It is reading your comments, how much you like to... to to see the series how much you like to just hear me babble on about next to nothing you know i i massively appreciate it, guys without you guys you know it wouldn't be worth doing can i fit through one gate aha i don't need to open double gates anymore i don't need to open double gates get in but yeah uh, people like ghost mr calem um, put us a video in the comments. Uh, David, uh, yeah, you're lucky I can remember your first name. <laughs> I know it begins with a H, his other name. How many people say, you know, I appreciate all your guys' comments, you know. But the old Stream Farm series has to improve on the numbers because, as daft as it sounds, if I put out five videos of Valley Springs and they get really good numbers, and then I put two episodes of Old Stream Farm out and it gets bad numbers, that affects me overall, if that makes sense. So it's it, you know we're trying to grow, and that series at the moment isn't helping me grow at the moment. I mean, like I say, I'll always be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, you know, it's, it's the best series in the world. It it's a new, it's a new series, and I get that. But to go from like nearly 30 average likes down to, I think it was 14 last night when I last looked. And it had been up for days. It it's a big drop. You know what I mean? That's actually more like thirty percent. That's more like fifty percent, nearly. But do you know what I mean? It affects the overall viewership. And if it's not worth, if people are not liking it, it's not worth doing. And if it's not worth doing it, then it'll come to an end. As much as I know some people do, you I have to see it from the bigger picture. You know, it's like every comment I get, I always reply to everyone's comment. If I don't reply to your comment, it's usually because it's an older video. Or I don't really know what I could put to respond to it. Do you know what I mean? Like if someone comes in and it's like, great video, I will probably put like a thanks, pal. If it's like a really old video, you know, I'll, you know, I always give it like a little, like a little love, a love reaction kind of thing to it. Because I do appreciate everybody's comments. But yeah, the, the old stream series, I love playing it, and that's the worst thing. But if people don't like it, I'll just play that one off recording, you know what I mean? I'm not going to break my neck to put more of it out there if it's not getting, if it's not getting washed. And I know it, I know it sounds really awful saying it. It sounds awful me saying it, I, I can hear it now. But the bigger picture is I'm trying to grow on YouTube, and that series up to now isn't it isn't there now i don't know is it because it's on, no no i was going to say is it because it's released on a weekend but it's not it's released on a monday and a tuesday when i put bally spring episodes out on a monday and tuesday for example that seems to get more you know what i mean you, you see see the issue i can't grow i can't grow if people are not if people are not liking it and commenting on it it stops me from growing and I can't do anymore. 
I put the videos on Twitter. I put the videos on YouTube. I put the videos over on, you know, a link to Facebook. Um, I'm in different Facebook groups sharing my links and stuff. I can't do any more now than share it as much as I can. But yeah, if you can, guys, comments, likes, shares, uh, you know, put me down as a recommended channel on your YouTube. That helps. Uh, I'm not saying you have to, just if you would, I massively appreciate it. I say there are a few people who watch all the videos. I'm just trying to trying to give you ideas, guys, to help me grow. And there we go. So that's that done. So over in the next episode, guys, we will get the next two fields cut. We'll get them wind road, and then probably the video after that, we'll get it all bailed up. Like I say, I'm not gonna. We're not going to break our neck today doing too much. Like I say, I've recorded this episode about five times today. About three, four, five times. I can't even remember, guys. I'm, I'm that annoyed with my computer not working properly. And it's all because of that NVIDIA update. But hopefully this one has worked. Uh, but yeah, I, I say I do apologise for missing the April month. I didn't technically miss it. I did record it. and I, I, I did it loads. I just... There's nothing I can do about it getting corrupted. Oh, I did not realise I left that engine running. That's going to need some fuel soon. Yeah, we'll get this field cut in the next episode. We'll get this field cut over here in the next episode. And look at that. Soon we're going to have enough manure to start spreading around the farm. I'm looking forward to that one. We're just going to quickly double check everything we've got. French fries, yep. They've got a 1,000 litres in there still. They've got 2,300 litres there. Yeah, potatoes is the only one. Potatoes is the only one I'm going to put it to distributing. Just because of how quickly it makes it makes them. Yeah, look at that, guys. 40 milk. Or 40 milk in dairy cows. It's fantastic. Uh, also, we're feeding them silage. I can't remember if I've said that or not. We're just feeding them silage now. But once this TMR's gone... It's gone. We're not messing around too much. Um, the weeding contracts, they're not worth it. Sorry, but they're not worth doing. Baling contracts, well, if we want to bale, we've got our own fields to do. I don't think we need all this hay as well. So I'm thinking of selling. I'm probably going to sell this first row. So what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I might sell them 12 bales. It'll still keep us 12 bales. And the only thing we've got to feed grass at the moment is the sheep. And 12 bales is more than enough. But hopefully, guys, you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you have. If you have, hit the like button. As I say, you know, drop a comment. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I do massively appreciate every new subscriber. Um, and until the next one, I'll see you all later on.